Rishikesh, the land of seers, sages and spiritual healers, has always served as a beacon of light for millions around the world. The tales of tremendous spiritual and cultural power has reached far and wide, gaining significance in the hearts and minds of many. The spirituality of Rishikesh has manifested in a myriad of traditions, cultures and rituals. Undoubtedly, the land and the people of this revered land exude a sense of vitality and positive energy that resonates the essence of spirituality and life. दरबार है और पवित्र स्थल है जो की गंगोत्री से आई है गंगोत्री से आई है और यहाँ पर निरंतर बहती हुई सागर में इसका मिलन होता है सभी लोग जानते हैं ये देवभूमि एक ऐसी देवभूमि है यहाँ पर सभी देवी देवताओं का पवित्र स्थल है निवास है उनका है आई एम नथिंग आई एम नो नी पावर पावर इज ओनली गॉड आई एम नो नी पावर पावर इज ओनली गॉड गॉड तो पावर तो वही है हैं तो वही काम कर रही है अच्छे विचार हो और सत्कर्म हो सदगुण हो और सर सत्कर्म होगा तो अच्छी बुद्धि बनेगी अच्छा विवेक जागृत खूब जागृत होगा आपका और तन तन बल मनोबल आत्मबल हैं शारीरिक बल धन बल अनेकों बल हैं वो आपको ईश्वर प्रदान करता रहेगा इन द मॉडर्नाइज वर्ल्ड सेंचुरी पीपल are seeking a sense of belongingness and a connection with higher spirit and millions from within and outside india come in search of this in the spiritual land of rishikesh in the flow of the ganges and the religious chants of shiva they find their inner peace bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo naha prachodayat um the reason we came to rishikesh was that Although we have been in India many times, we had never been here and we'd heard about it from friends who have seen it and we wanted to experience something of the atmosphere for ourselves even though unfortunately because we have to be in Delhi for the Times of India Literary Festival, we do not have very much time to spend here. But we came first of all to Haridwar where we're spending 3 nights, but we thought being in Haridwar we must come to Rishikesh and I'm so glad as we sit here on the beautiful ganga that that's what we did uh, so like how do you feel after being here you said like the atmosphere was really nice do you sense the spirituality in yes the i think anybody who comes to somewhere like this uh, and you see all the ashrams you see what people are doing you very quickly sense the spiritual atmosphere of the place and you can understand why people would want to come here for a very long time to immerse yourself in it properly Our only regret is that uh, we have had such a short time to experience it for ourselves. We 
we're both from New Zealand, Wellington, New Zealand, and we've been travelling through India for the last six months. And before we arrived to Rishikesh, we were in Varanasi. So for myself, my experience of the Mother Ganga has been quite, quite different. I feel like the energy here in Rishikesh is younger and in Varanasi it feels a lot, lot older. Just before we left Varanasi, on the about the 20th of November, we or the 19th of November, we found out that our beloved dog had died back in New Zealand, and so we were we were heartbroken. And it was our sons were looking after our dog, and we, Peter and I were both absolutely heartbroken. And we went down to the Mother Ganga to to say prayers, which was helpful in Varanasi. But I feel that when I arrived here in Rishikesh, the energy. I felt like such a release of energy in terms of my grief and being able to deal with the loss of our dog down in the river and I went in for a swim and, um, and I felt an absolute release of, of, of grief. So for me Rishikesh has been a, been a, wonderful, a wonderful place and to be and, and, and um, to be able to grieve the loss of our dog. One of the major reasons why people love this land is due to the transcendental power it exudes in the visitors through yoga and adventure. The practice of yoga is believed to have originated in India about 5,000 years ago. According to the yogic lore, Adi Yogi, the first yogi, transmitted the science of yoga to the legendary Saptarishis. The meaning of yoga. Yoga means the union between, normally we say the body, mind and soul. But ultimately the goal is the union between soul, atma and paramatma. Between us and that. Because we are related from that, comes from that. And our journey starts from there. From that means you can see the super consciousness, universal consciousness, even the God, supreme power, whatever we can say. So our goal is meet with that. So finally, goal is union between Atma and Paramatma, between consciousness and super-consciousness. So that's the main purpose of yoga. Rishikesh, the serene and holy land, serves as a center of yoga for many around the world and as a path to establishing a connection with the higher being. I've been in Rishikesh for seven days. Um, I've been practicing yoga uh, twice a day for three hours a day with a meditation uh, in an ashram. And uh, when I arrived in Rishikesh, I had been traveling uh, to India uh, a little bit, just three days. But uh, for me, it was really a peaceful base and it really made me uh, calm and feel really safe. Uh, Transcending borders and crossing mountains, millions of foreign visitors are drawn by faith into the Sanctum Sanctorum of Rishikesh. Like a melody of the Beatles that melancholically resonates in our minds, the calm of Rishikesh resonates in the soul. Thousands travel here, mandering in search of meaning and purpose. Not just the yoga and chants, but Rishikesh itself is a muse that combines nature and spirituality, giving birth to ethereal serenity. For people, it is a riff of religion, strum of spirituality and a yodel of yoga. Rishikesh is for the soul. Oh.